The closing of a trailer park is nothing new to Wayne Marty. This, this is my third third mobile home park I had to move from. You know, I don't know what the city has, you know, with the trailer mobile home parks, but you know, we're, we're, we're people too. When they moved in three years ago, Marty and his disabled wife thought this trailer park would be their last. Marty is trying to figure out how he'll move his wife's wheelchair ramp to another location. I'm gonna do it, and, you know, I'm determined to get it done. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Sunset and Ed's mobile home parks have about 200 trailers. The two parks sit next to each other just south of Columbia's Lenore Woods retirement home. The owners are not charging fees for rent, water, sewer, and trash during the next six months. Several trailer park residents told me that does not cover the cost of their move. The way you, when you add it up, it only comes up to about 1500 bucks. You know, it's... I, I, you know, I don't think it's right, but you know, they done what they did, you, you know, and then they're doing it by law. Whirlwind Properties own the trailer parks. In a written statement, they told KRCG 13, the property is up for sale because outdated infrastructure has made the trailer park wasteful with resources. In Columbia, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13.